any idea where on earth I can have maybe a dupe of it? All right, so you all know how I feel about dupes, but uh, this comment was left on a video of a now discontinued perfume. So the comment was left on a video where I was reviewing Madonna's Truth or Dare perfume, which came out in 2012. And just as a recap, you can check out the video, but as a recap, uh, Truth or Dare kind of recreates uh, one of uh, Madonna's memories. And I think the storyline of this celebrity perfume is quite interesting because she was trying to, as we all know, uh, Madonna's childhood is quite tragic. She often refers to her mother that she lost very early, and she remembers the scent of her mother. And with this perfume, she was trying to recreate that fragrance or by memory, the memory of that fragrance. And this is the fragrance that she was referring to. Now, I haven't compared both of them to see if it's an actual dupe. Um, but originally, um, as per the brief and when she was doing the tour to promote the fragrance, uh, this is actually what she was kind of trying to recreate from like her memory. So I might end up ordering a sample of this one just, you know, to indulge in the comparison and to see if it's uh, actually the same. But in the meantime, if anybody has made that comparison, uh, please leave it in the comments. And if you know of any perfumes that resemble Madonna's Truth or Dare perfume of 2012, which is, again, now discontinued, uh, please also leave them in the comments below. I would be very curious to explore those as well. But just getting back to Madonna's Truth or Dare fragrance, it is one of my favorite celebrity fragrances for many reasons. I just feel with a lot of other celebrity fragrances, they tend to be a little bit accessory. And what I feel with a lot of celebrity fragrances is they tend to try to appeal to the uh, lowest common denominator. And I don't mean that in a condescending way, but I mean that in a more general way where uh, it, it's basically fragrances that are made to appeal to the mass public. And I feel when fragrances tend to do that, they lose a little bit of their edge and their artistic edge. So in the action of trying to please many people, I do feel that we sort of have to compromise on the artistry. And I feel like this perfume does the opposite. I think at the time that it came out, uh, white florals weren't so much of a thing. People were starting to feel that they were a little bit much. So we were going kind of elsewhere in terms of fashion. Uh, but Madonna presented this, uh, you know, heavy white florals. Um, it's pretty lush. It's pretty uh, loud and slightly old fashioned, I feel. So I find that really interesting. And also a little daring. So, you know, there's a little edge there, which, you know, represents well Madonna's body of work. And this is another thing that I absolutely love about Madonna. So Truth or Dare, the perfume came out in 2012. Um, and it kind of refers to the movie, the reality movie that came out in the, in, I think in 1990. So there's a huge time gap there. And it just demonstrates how consistent Madonna is with the themes that she develops. She's going to keep revisiting them for years. And I love when artists do that, where they stick with certain themes and they do it for extremely long periods of time. And I hope younger artists are taking notes because you can actually self-refer to yourself from previous work and it actually reinforces the entire body of work. Again, I think this perfume is brilliant. I think the con concept is brilliant and I love this scent and I'm very happy to have it as part of my collection.